working, working for you. Here's a letter, and I see from my notes that everywhere I say VIC-20, I should have said Commodore 64. Let me call up that feature and say, I want to change and replace every place that says VIC-20 to Commodore 64. It says more. No, that's all I want to do, and let's simply do it. And here we go. And you can see the letter is now changed. The three occurrences, it's all changed. What else do I need to do? Well, oh, I say I've missed out a word. Right after the word disk, I'd like to insert the word printer. Let me go into insert mode, and what you'll see is that when I type in that word, all of the rest of the paragraph moves over to make room. P-R-I-N-T-E-R. -E see how easy it is? Another thing that I decided, there's a sentence down here. I'd like to move earlier in the whole operation. So here's what I'll do. I'll select a sentence operation here and say, I can pick out the characters one by one here. Just a moment. Here we go. You can see that I'm picking out part of the text and selecting it. It's coming in an opposite font, but I can say, give me the whole sentence. There it is, and a couple more letters, and that's the part that I want. Now, what do I want to do with it? I want to move it up here. Okay, so what do I do? I say, use the move command, and here goes that sentence. It's moved up to the new place. You see it there? Now, I'd better take it out of the old place. It's still there. I've just made a copy. So I'll use the other command and look down below. You'll see the sentence that I had disappearing from the screen. There it goes. It's pretty handy. It's a very nice way to rewrite a letter. Is there anything else I need to do? I could move in the margins, I suppose, somewhere up near the top. I see this questions plural, and I want questions singular. I'll take off the S. Let me just find the right place here. There's the letter S. I'll simply delete it. And that looks pretty good. I'm ready to type the final draft of my letter. Here I go. Whoops. Not that way down. Let me erase that. Like that. And now we'll do it again. And here comes my letter. I'll stop the letter now because we don't want to see the whole thing print, but let's talk about some of them. I've used the word processor. The document that I composed is saved onto disk. I can bring it back into the computer's memory, change it, change around complete words and phrases, substitute one word for the other. Mr. Smith could become Mr. Jones, for example. I can compose the letter and I can make it very, very good. And when I'm finished, it'll come out word perfectly. This is called word processing. And even now, we're only showing a little bit of its potential. The particular one that I'm showing here is called Paperclip, but there are many, many word processors that you can get commercially. It's up to you to choose the one that has the style that you want. For example, we have here many of them. There's Hess Riser, Hess Writer 64, Easy Script, Quick Brown Fox, and there are others that I still don't have here, for example, such as Word Pro and many others. There's quite a range of prices, quite a range of features. What you have to do is to choose the one you want.